All right, let's go over some Little Martha today. This is mostly for beginners. Uh, we're tuned in open E, and uh, let's dig in here. We're going to hammer on to the first fret of the G string, and then hit the open B string and the open E, e string after that. And then land on that first fret of the G string, and then B string, 2nd fret of the D, 1st fret of the G, and then open everything. So, now those are the chords, you know, you can um, flare it up by hitting extra, you know, notes or strings with your fingers, so. But we're going to play that twice. Then we're going to move up to the 5th fret and bar the whole thing and play the same shape we're playing down there and the same fingering on the right hand. And so it would be the 1st fret past the bar, which would be the 6th fret of the G. second fret past the bar which would be the seventh fret of the D and again you can flare that up a little like you were down there by maybe brushing some extra strings with your, your fingers or whatnot so you play let's go through that it's one two three and four and then that finishes the meat and potatoes of the song for a second go to the change which is up here I put my ring finger on these bottom three strings on the seventh fret but I'm only plucking the top the bottom two strings on the seventh fret on this one on the ninth, ninth fret I'm sorry but just keep the shape because it'll help for the, the change in the later in the song a little tickle so all that is is um, you're gonna move to the a string with your thumb on this one on this part, you can hit the bottom two strings, the B and the E string, on the ninth fret. You're gonna move your ring finger all the way down to the fifth fret and hit all three of those strings. And then you're gonna move to the seventh fret and hit all three of those strings. You can do that a couple times, practice. I sometimes use my ring finger instead of sliding my finger all the way up. Whatever you wanna do is fine as long as you hit these three bottom strings on both frets, so. And then we're going to learn a new chord down here, which is some D-ish chord, I'm not really sure, but it's the second fret with your ring finger on the E string, and the first fret of the G again. All three of those strings. While hitting the A still. And then, so remember that chord, because it's really... Uh, now you've learned all the chords for the whole song, so. But this progression goes as such. All the way up again, two strings. And then there's a turnaround. And the simple turnaround is the uh, D string on the fourth fret. I'm sorry. And the D string on the second fret, and then open everything again. And then you start over. So we learned those two parts. Let's get quickly to the, the 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 final change. If you know the song, you know there's a part where that's why I want you to put your the the ring finger on these three bottom strings on the on the seventh fret because you you need to hammer on here. And all that is is hammering on, you hit the three strings, 
but you hit the two strings like we did, we learned earlier, on the bottom two strings on the ninth fret. Oh, sorry. So, let me play this all the way through so you get the context of it. And then we go back to this chord, and then this fifth fret on the bottom three strings, and then all the way up to the seventh fret with the bottom three strings. And then a hammer on again, not a hammer on, just a. And then all the way back to the fifth fret with the bottom three strings and all the way back down. So that's kind of a. learned kind of so I'll play that through slowly the the second uh, change part of the song And then the turnaround. And the start over. So I'm going to go to the outro here. After I play this four times. I'm not going to. The outro would be a harmonic. That was not even close. Twelfth fret. You almost want to be right above the fret line. If you play slide guitar, you're right there. And just barely touch them. And barely touch on the seventh fret. And barely touch on the fifth fret. And then barely touch on the seventh again. And then slow strum this. And that would be your outro. Um, and the intro would be, since we learned the meat and potatoes, it's the first fret of the G, and then a B, but go on to the open B, go on to the second fret of the D. Start, the, and then we'll go first fret of the G again. Oh, sorry. You'll get it. If you listen to the song, you'll get it. So, uh, hope that was helpful. It's kind of for beginners. It might be a little tough, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. It's fun. I think a lot of people can play this. and they, Especially people who wouldn't even think they could ever play this. So, thank you for watching. Hope this is helpful. Subscribe and like all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully soon.